বিজ্ঞাপন বিরতির পর আমরা ফিরে এসেছি আজকের আলাপচারিতার শেষ অংশে আমরা আজকে কথা বলছি উই স্ট্যান্ড আপ ইউনাইটেডলি এগেনস্ট অল ফর্মস অফ হেট ক্রাইমস অ্যান্ড উই হ্যাভ কট জাইন মি আ ব্যাক ইন দ্য প্যানেল থ্যাংক ইউ ফর কামিং ব্যাক ইন দিস সেকশন উই উড লাইক টু ফোকাস অন what is it that we can actually do to stand up against as a united community um, this all forms of hate mm. crimes you know be it racism be it fascism be it terrorism um, and against white supremacism as well and obviously if we can stand up unitedly that's the biggest strength that actually we can fight with um, not hate not hatred not violence not anger and our thoughts and prayers are with the families um who have you know lost their loved ones in Christ church and uh, obviously at this moment the best thing we can do is actually um uh, do something positively so that we can avoid we can stop similar kind of things happening um in in countries across the world um so um zain what's what's your view how do you see as a um young local active young activists i would say what would be uh, our role as a young bangladeshi uh, muslim british uh, how do you see your role in this in this fight against hate crimes well one thing that i do do want to mention you know after the the horrific attack that was hap- that happened i mean straight away from my local community from my non-muslim friends i was absolutely you know bombarded with you know the support and um also to see how you know we was especially my friends and comrades in newham and um it really made me think you know it really made me think that we are not alone as we think you know we are not alone as we think and we have a lot of people who love us and will support us but as your question in our role will be i will definitely have to say that from from what i see i think we have to stand up to this kind of fascism fascism this kind of racism right especially in terms of one of the things that on saturday i i went in for a um, a surgery with a uh, um a counselor to translate some 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 issues a 74 year old lady came in and she was from the windrush generation right she has been here for not, since 1964 and it absolutely horrified me to see her crying with a heart condition right and it begs back t- to the policies this government has enforced on people and Theresa May being the home secretary at that time implementing this and it's all rich coming from her you know with respect for me speaking but it's all rich coming from her speaking about you know how you know you know how we should want to move forward or not the one of the ways i see what we need to do we really need to implement policies which protect and laws that protect the minority whether it be black muslim um people from all backgrounds and yeah, we need to, to campaign to do that to, to do that yeah. we need to make more of a inclusive muslim bangladeshi community isn't yes, it yes we definitely do we do need to unite there is a lot of some differences within our communities but situations like these we have to unite come together in a common cause and Thank stop but, but but surely it's also but uniting all communities we have far okay. more in common than what divides us so let me tell you 20 years ago we had the bnp marching through the streets of bethel green with the slogan rights for whites our slogan was rights for all we don't want communities who are deprived competing against one another is that message of unity hope that we got to put forward the forces of hate thrive on fear 
division and scapegoating. Our message has got to be hope, unity and solutions. And to answer your question on me directly, what can be done? Football. That's the area where groups like the Democratic Football Les Alliance with their hateful Islamophobic rhetoric have got to be challenged. I'll call upon West Ham United just up the road to dis, uh, disown the DFLA and say that they've got no part to play at West Ham. The trade union movement has got to embark and is embarking on a massive education program. That's what we're doing through London United. There are organizations like Stand Up to Racism and United Against Fascism that are mobilizing on the streets. There are educational charities like Searchlight Magazine and Hope Not Hate that are monitoring and combating all forms of hatred, whether it's Islamophobia, um, or hatred of Muslims, or whether it's anti-Semitism. So there's some fantastic work being done. Political parties have got to take a lead. Uh, and not just, I mean, I'll talk about my party. But let me just give an example of leadership. We talked about the leadership shown by the Prime Minister of New Zealand. So Sajid Javed today, yesterday announced that he's doubling the money to religious institutions in terms of um, uh, having, um, uh, uh, protecting themselves against hate attacks uh, to 1.6 million pounds. Now that might seem a lot of money, it's not. That 1.6 million pounds is for all religious institutions nationally where they're going to compete against one another to get a share of this money. Come on, take the problem seriously. Ask each religious institution, whether it's a mosque, a temple, a gurudwara, or a church, what are your security needs? How much do you need? And then we can talk business. Absolutely. You know? but is, it, is it the world that we would like to see, Bari Bhai, uh, where even the religious um, institutions need to be under a high security where people will be, you know, are we heading towards a time where people will be wearing a vest, a bulletproof vest under their Punjabi or, you know, is, is, it, is that the well, a time that we're heading towards? There is no protection from these sort of att attackers yeah. and terrorist, terrorist people. At the end of the day, society has to gel together and society means individuals like us the mosques, the temples, gurudwaras from religious perspective, trade unions, I had been involved with trade union activities, and then local activists like um, Jain, and uh, there must be civic alliance locally, nationally. Absolutely. So th that's, that's Absolutely. one aspect. That's and and, and of course, there must be pressure on the media and the government. And social media. It's social so media. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So the gov government, they, 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 are the, they are the voting people. So at the end of the day, if voters mean civic, civic society rises up, then they will take care. And media also looks for, looks for the sens sensational news and other things. If they see that a, a, a media by, by, more, more by portraying, portraying certain mm. community is doing something damage to the society, they should be taken into account. At the end of the day, it's everybody's responsibility. Abner, what, what's your view on, on that? I mean, well, how do you see, uh, because interestingly you were saying that um, integration versus assimilation. Yes. So where do we draw the line in terms of do we integrate or is the perception that ethnic minority community needs to be assimilated to the mainstream community? I think no sensible, thank you, uh, I think uh, no uh, uh, sensible uh, section uh, community or individual would suggest or would support assimilation. Assimilation will not have the diversity, will not have the color, and will not have the uh, the, uh, the multiculturalism and multilingualism. Uh, uh, so, uh, I mean, I, as an immigrant in this country um, uh, from ethnic minority, I'd always love to be integrated, and this is part of our job as well as the local media to. Um, accustomed people from our own community with the mainstream. So uh, integration is always good and I think no one will um, uh, no one but will go against see, the integration. But do we but see enough celebration of integration and diversity in, in today's world? Well, I mean, uh, I, I don't know how people see it, but in my view, uh, our community is completely integrated. Your child spent eight hours in school. This is not a segregated school. You take your um, uh, health service from NHS. This is integrated. You uh, do a job in a workplace. This is not a segregated place. You spend at least 15, 16 hours of your time out of your home, out of your family, and you are mixing, working, laughing, joking, playing 
with the mainstream, with but the with still the, with the, with the, the local media. are being raised that Muslim uh, community are not integrated yes. enough. Well, if if you if you mean that uh, integration means that I have to go to a uh, pub with you, no. that's that's mm -hmm. that's that's something something different. I'm going to school with you. I'm going to work. I'm working with you. Uh, I'm going to taking. I'm I'm taking uh, uh, NHS service uh, from from the from the mainstream. I'm spending my time. At least every individual is spending. Uh, every adult uh, or even children are spending more than half of the daytime in the mainstream environment. Now, if we cannot be integrated, that is the failure of the system itself. If you look at the, at the, at the, I mean, for example, I, I must bring it because uh, from Tower Hamlets there are f quite a number of uh, uh, young people has ended up in Syria because they have been brought up by the values and the and the uh, and the virtues of the of this British society. How come they ended up in in the Syria? If in in Syria, if they ended up in Syria, then we must look at the fault of the society itself and the system itself. It's the system failing is not an individual. There are 90,000 people living in, in Bengali uh, from, from Bangladeshi origin in this bara. Only few, nine or, nine or ten. If we portray that all the Bangladeshis or all the Muslims are looking forward to go to Syria, <coughs> that would be a betrayal to the community. Absolutely. I, think, I think you're absolutely right. I think it's almost patronizing sometimes yeah. to keep mm -hmm. on saying integrate, 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 integrate. You're talking about that in the so, 60s, some, 70s and 80s. Some of, I mean. us, some of us are third or fourth generation here, yeah. right? And when they keep on, to, I, I don't know what it means anymore. Right? And this is your country. Yeah, it is yeah. my country. I love my country, and I will defend it to the bone. Absolutely. Right? I will defend it to the bone. You know, Absolutely. whether it's you know any attack against a Christian, a Jewish, a Muslim, a Hindu, <coughs> a brothers and sisters of non-faith. Right? So when I constantly hear this, um, with all due respect, this integration, I don't know what it actually means. So the goalpost keeps on changing, right? It keeps on changing. And I think this is one of the tools and tactics, right, to vilify a community, right? Some of our elderly generation or some of the people who've just come over, they might dress in a different way, they might talk in a different way. What's that got to do with integration? Yeah, surely benefiting, benefiting society, surely coexisting together, surely having the love and respect for each other, right? This is integration paying your taxes as you can this is and I I you know appeal to the audience right we need to come together and build a mass movement against fascism against hate crime against racism right we've got fantastic as our honorable friend has said we've got amazing organizations such as stand up to racism and a primary example I will say in this country is definitely Jeremy Corbyn it's definitely Jeremy I'll, Corbyn. I'll, I'll, I'll have to Theresa stop you May. There. I'll have to. We will. We will. Sorry. We will have definitely another session on but Jeremy the, Corbyn. The work yes. is being done, so we should not give up hope. Communities, uh, you know, I mean, we had white people going to the mosque outside in Exeter definitely. and saying, "Look, whilst you play, we will stand outside." That is represents the good, decent side of our society. And you, I'm Let's well. build on that. We've got fantastic traditions of resisting racism and fascism in this part of East London. The people like the English Defence League have tried to cause havoc in Tower Hamlets. They've been, you know, quite frankly. Uh, yeah, just to add on to your your comment, the, uh, uh, Umesh, uh, I have seen a few pictures that uh, people are um, guarding mosque yeah. doors, yeah. saying yeah. that I'm yeah. your friend. Yes. You go and pray. I'll I'll, yeah. I'll guard yeah. you. Yeah. These are the pictures which. See Symbolize the yeah. the sympathy, the support, yeah. and the admiration for the whole community. The inclusiveness and it's inclusiveness, but and, 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 and it's giving you reassurance that you don't have to fear for these things. But and that that's I think something we should build on. But but the, uh, to, I mentioned the EDL. They've got the message, and we don't see them around anymore. Yeah. So th th there are traditions and community that can build upon. I talked about London United earlier. It's about uh, educating the trade unions with a huge membership, uh, which brings people of all religions, f uh, races together. Um, look, these are times of economic uncertainty, austerity politics, fear about Brexit, and there are people out there waiting to exploit such fears. So it's not about integration. You can never integrate enough for so some of these people. You yeah. can never. Yes. Integrate enough yes. for some Absolutely. of these people. Absolutely. So, but if I do, I'll, I'll come to you, um, um In terms of your book, Along Jihad, you spoke about inclusive community. Yeah, that's the book. Um, uh, inclusive community. So, what what do you mean by that? Um, this book is Long Jihad for Quest for the Middle Way.
So that's the nature of Islam that we don't go into this extreme or another extreme. It, we have to be the middle way. And uh, when I say middle way, middle way is not a thin line that one simply will fall down. Middle, middle way is quite wide. So the struggle to remain in the middle way is the topic of this book. That when I, what I say inclusive multiple identity, because human beings have different identities. We are not cloned to one another. And uh, there are seven, seven and a half billion people with seven and a half billion features in their f face and the, and, and the tip, tip of the tip of the finger. So that's the unique uniqueness of God's creation. So that means essentially brothers and sisters are different, DNA is different. But at the end of the day, we are same human brothers and sisters. So when you say inclusive, multiple identity, say I come from Bangladesh ethnic mm. ethnicity, mm. I'm a British citizen, my religion is Muslim, uh, Islam, I was a teacher, I'm a physicist, so all these are multiple identities. There is no contradiction mm. in my identity. Mm, mm, mm. So if there is and no... And they can sit side by side. Side by side, mm. complementary, it's not competitive. So that this model that has been devised in the 50s and 60s, multiple identities or multiculturalism, which is now demonized mm. by some sections of the media, mm. it has been working quite well. Mm. Look mm. at France. France wanted, to, wanted <coughs> everybody to be friends. Yeah. At the end of the day, Apart from the white friends, others are second-class citizens. Mm. So Britain is far better compared to, compared to France Absolute. model. So our model is better. It's the problem is some of our politicians, yeah. writing politicians or uh, far-right politicians and some of the media mm. are trying to mess up our country. Yeah. We have to reclaim this. Yes. Well, at the end of the day, um, we all human beings are from the same, same source. And uh, if, if we divide, from one another, then family could be divided, community could be divided, and where do we end up? And let us not forget, progressive councils in this part of London, Tower Hamlets, Newham, Barking and Dagnum, councils that I'm proud to represent GLA, are doing some fantastic work to bring communities together. So the Khan's campaign, London is open, to, re to offer re reassurance to our to our EU citizens, who quite understandably are frightened, upset, worried about Brexit and, uh, and uh, its aftermath, that you are part of London. And certainly as a GLA member, I'm launching a campaign against uh, uh, hate crime, which I think now needs to be uh, stepped up. Uh, we've got various campaigns that Zain has talked about. I mentioned London United, which is seeking to work primarily in the trade union movement Absolutely, to raise yeah. consciousness so, uh, about what is going on, uh, that let not the forces of hate divide us. Definitely. And we've got to stand together in these difficult times. I, I think, think that's the message that I hope goes up to your viewers. Our time is finishing. From tonight's I program. I, 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 think, I think quickly, so the younger people have to definitely get involved more in the trade union movement as well, which is a, a massive source of where unity Power as well strength, come, yeah. strengths come from. What would be your concluding remarks? I know it's a very <coughs> complex situation. very wide. And very wide but I would like to finish it with some hopes because this is not the end of our the journey that we have started the journey continues journey needs to continue and in this journey we have to be united so what would be your well first, first of all uh, i'd like viewers? to say that i'd like to pay a tribute uh, to the to the uh, to the um, uh, victims of the uh, uh, horrific incident and i'd like to uh, uh, pay my condolences to the to the loved ones and I think this this will create. I mean, uh, what I have seen from the uh, New Zealand's Prime Minister that she was resolute on her on her on her remarks, yes. and she has so shown an outstanding leadership. And I think all the leaders of the uh, of the of the of the big countries uh, who uh, uh, who always um, uh, prescribe give prescriptions to the other nations for being uh, uh, strong and uh, eradicate the. Terror, terrorism or terrorist activities, they should stand up and they should uh, uh, follow her suit. Uh, in terms of the of the of the good work which uh, Umesh has mentioned, I think there are a lot of organisations mm -hmm. in this society. And as I saw, uh, said mentioned in my uh, opening uh, remark, that people of this country, we have to rely on them. We cannot rely on the media. We cannot rely on the on the establishment, on the authorities, but we have to rely on the people. Yes, we Thank have you. to rely on our neighbours, and we have to we have to make friends with them. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Concluding remarks. Literally thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Hope, unity, uh, offering positive solutions, looking back on a history of uh, of resistance to racism, fascism, uh, hate in all its forms over the last thirty, forty years we've been in this country. 
that should be inspiration of the future. The way that multi faith, uh, the faith groups are working together, what I saw at Istanbul Mosque last, uh, last Friday, the work that groups like Learn United and Stand Up to Racism are doing. Progressive media people like uh, yourselves, um, and especially social media is something I think we'll have to talk about in more detail. Thank you. So there are a number of things that, that are being done, can be done. We can't give up. We Absolutely. come too far. Absolutely. and We cannot let these uh, people divide us. First of all, we need to reject, we need to reject all the hate, uh, hate mongers and all the people who try to come and divide us. We need to stand together, stand firm. We need to make sure also our Prime Minister looks at how the New Zealand Prime Minister dealt with how Thank you. she was Body as well. No, I think we reap what we sow. So at the end of the day, it's our collective responsibility as well as individual resp responsibility. As an individual, a family, as a community, we have to stand up as well, what everybody is saying. And stand up, stand up to the challenge that we face and stand up for the, for the brotherhood, sisterhood Absolutely. and humanity that we all are human beings. Absolutely. So there could be differences of opinion, but Absolutely. there should not be any division. Yes. Thank you. Well said. Thank you. And well I would said. like to conclude by saying that the world that we love and we live in, if we turn our back on our global responsibilities, um, the world that we will produce will give us greater insecurity, violence, and danger, not only for us and for our children as well. So surely we can't. Um, we can't see that world and you know we have to stand up um, unitedly against all form of hatred crimes thank you and good night